controversy in these Clásicos, and this is not going to be any different for me tonight. There's an awful lot at stake, pride among uh, one of the issues, but it's just going to be a fabulous game. Well, we have the best in the world, and we've got the next generation of Los Galacticos as well. Look out for the name of Lionel Messi. I think you're going to hear him at the World Cup. He's 18 years of age. He's been given his chance tonight ahead of the Frenchman Ludovic Juli for Barcelona. It's blockbuster. He's never going to get a sea of stars quite like this. Another foul. I think it's going to be one of those evenings. The referee could be collecting some famous names in his little... Young Messi. Maradona said of him that he is uh, worthy of the famous Argentinian number 10 shot. Wilson Rob has played in front of him because he's uh, made several mistakes when he's played at the back at Nielsen. Deco oh. to Messi. Clever was body checked in a very dangerous position. Clever play from the Argentinian international. Little flick past Sergio Ramos, wins the free kick in a very interesting position. Q, Ronaldinho. There it is. Obstruction. And the first scare for Real Madrid. Xavi to Messi, plays without fear. Takes on Roberto Carlos, that's a fair cross as well, and uh, miscommunication in the Real Madrid defence. Well, that's going to be interesting, Lionel Messi coming up against Roberto Carlos. He'll always favour that left foot. Over the last couple of days that he's going to uh, retain that wonderful trophy. There have been publicity photos taken, expecting to retain it. Tried Rob, was a great run from Samuel Eto'o. to Messi, full of beans, full of ideas. A surprise package in the Barcelona team tonight. Came back from injury, what, five weeks ago, six weeks ago? Messi, wonderful balance from the middle now. Maradona-like, and, well, he's determined to make a name for himself. He's done well, Rob, I tell you, Paco Garcia had kicked lumps out of him on two occasions, he kept going, and got the shot off. Now, oh. he... now Messi, left all alone. Scuffles through there. Wills them to foul him. Oh. How to silence the Bernabeu in one fell swoop! Well, he's quick, Rob, and he has silenced them. And they're the team in form, and they've got first blood. It looks a shock on their faces. Sedan, Helguera, Fondi Luxembourg is trying to calm them down. Well, Messi's at the heart of it again. Lovely little combination there, but look how easily he goes through. He goes through the two centre halves. Sergio Ramos and Helguera he commits himself far too easily for me. And it's a toe poke into the bottom corner of the net, and it counts. Good goal. How he can get free is beyond belief. It's the diving in, first of all, of Ivan Helguera and Messi who's caused a lot of problems. Sergio Ramos is uh, left on his own, and he just toe pokes the ball into the bottom corner of the net. So you feel from this point on it's, it's Barca all the way? Well, I would not never say that in this kind of game, no, but they've certainly, um, they've certainly got their noses in front now and uh, the, the thing that worries you a little bit I've about... i read a lot about in the press of this, uh, the, the, the formation that's been employed tonight, a great example of it where often it said three players up front, not necessarily the case. No, I think that uh, when we saw them, I mean, even the Brazil national side plays with Ed Nielsen is for Real Madrid. Likes it on here. Has just lost the ball. Held girl. Look a little bit ring rusty. And it's here's terrible, Messi. Terrible ball from Roberto Carlos. It's El Guerra, who's one of the experienced old heads down there under pressure. A game that's a little bit more than football. It's about cultures, ideologies, the politics, politics of the two regions. A history that goes back centuries. Barcelona front three, not allowing Real Madrid to play their free flowing football. That's obstruction. He's a handful, isn't he? He's been Messi. boy wonder tonight, hasn't he? He could be the difference. Certainly was involved heavily in the goal. He created the goal for Samuel Etu. Well, they signed him when he was only 13 years of age. Lionel Messi, he could be one of the great signings of all time. And Raul was uh, taken out and uh, accepts hand of friendship from uh, his international teammate, but the referee doesn't look at it that way, and I think he's going to 
deliver his first stern to South American television. Here's the African Player of the Year, Edu. He played it to Messi, just a warning of <laughs> what he can do. It's just as well it was offside, it was a fabulous finish, Rob. This kid is superb, he really is sensational. Well, you can see as the ball is played, he is offside, but nothing wrong with the finish, was there? Fabulous. He's 19 years of age, he has a buyout clause in his contract. If you would like to buy his contract, any Premiership managers watching out there, the buyout clause is 100 million euros. Even Chelsea have been put off by that. Garcia. Bad ball. Here is Messi. Oh, great save by Casillas. Ronaldinho. Real Madrid in shock. Oh, what a fantastic ball. ball. Oh, genius. Messi. Well, they're playing champagne football, and it's Real Madrid at the moment who have the champagne hangover. And that was a save earlier. And again, through the middle, it's been a problem for Real Madrid. As I said earlier, Rob, I, I actually fancy Jonathan Woodgate and Sergio Ramos as a much better partnership, but unfortunately, Jonathan... You led to ignore the flash bulbs and uh, the baying Real Madrid supporters. He's still in that trance. Messi. Yeah, he was caught. Tidy challenge right on the edge of the area. He's so quick and fleet of foot, Rob. You know, he has great balance. Zidane was on his way in to make the challenge. He nicked it past him, was caught. And it's a very, very good area. And once he picks the ball up, Messi, he's fantastic when he starts running and defenders don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle him. Real Madrid debut. Got sent off and scored an own goal. When he finally wore the white shirt and uh, when he was getting fit and was on the verge of a recall for England. He uh, was taken off with a strain and is expected to be missing for maybe another couple of weeks. Just take it. There is Ronaldinho, the world player of the year. One of those who doesn't just save those tricks for the TV commercials. Barcelona, Ronaldinho. Oh, my goodness, what an amazing sleight of feet. Great cross. And Messi has many wonderful attributes, but uh, heading isn't one of them. We may have to slow this replay down to its finest to see exactly what he always just before that cross. An incredible trick. A lot of great individual talents on the park tonight, Rob. But it's the Barcelona stars who are shining at the moment, and Real Madrid have got to step it up another gear. They want to get back into this match. Samuel Eto'o. Edmilson. Messi, it's a prize package. The referee didn't like the hand that was laid upon Lionel Messi. As if he would need to check the name of the back of that shirt if he was going to book Zizou. Second stamina. Well, again. Well, there's a concern hush around the bird about because there two is on the wall path. Needed a world class save for Mika Casillas. Madrid is not a happy place at the moment. They've been taught a lesson. Well, have a look at this. Eto again. And he's he's just left Ivan Helgera for dead. He's got a yard on him from nowhere. And that's a problem for Real Madrid. They've got to sort this out in the second half. An entertaining first half, though the supporters in the Bernabeu may not agree with me. There's Lionel Messi. Well, he's been unstoppable, and uh, Garcia takes a, a chunk out of him. Not for the first time, I might add. Sometimes that's the only way you can stop him. Lovely skills. Doesn't get the ball, Garcia, but he certainly gets Messi. <laughs> that's the way you tell him. There is Oliga. Roberto Carlos doesn't quite know what to do. And uh, it did appear that he... Uh, Lawfully blocked his route, but the uh, referee's assistant sides with the Real Madrid veteran. They're here tonight filming for goal two, by the way. You may have seen it in your local cinemas, goal one, about the young South American kid who comes to Europe and makes a name for himself. It could be starring Lionel Messi. He came here when he was 13 years of age to join Barcelona. He apparently has Italian grandparents, and they've managed to get him Spanish citizenship. Though he will be starring for Argentina at the next World Cup Finals. Audacious for Xavi. 
Messi. If he's past his bedtime, he's giving Real Madrid nightmares. Two of them dance with the young devil. Edmilson. Wonderful football, this from Barcelona. Here is Messi. And it needed to be cashed by El Guerra, and he's managed to squeeze a corner out of Real Madrid. Well, he took the sting out of it, but again, wonderful play from Barcelona and static defending from Real Madrid. They're just passing through them, and he's not offside. Pablo Garcia's caught out, and El Guerra gets a block on it. Trevi's corner kick. Balls to Messi. Garcia. Messi. Now Xavi. Messi. They're toying with Real Madrid. It's testimonial football. Well, again, it's been played to a cacophony of whistles. David Beckham doesn't like that. He goes flying in, but he, he can't get a hold of the ball. Ball to Lionel Messi. Can he put his name up there in the stars? Hangs on to it. Can't quite feed from for Barcelona, who still look the better outfit. There are 30 on cameras covering this game live. It's impossible to hide, but somehow some of the men in white are managing to do that. Cameras are all capturing Lionel Messi at the moment. Samuel Etou, score of the game's only goal. Goes drifting, and he was blocked by Roberto Carlos, who guides it out of play. Roberto Carlos has been miscued header. Barcelona have the spare man here. It's Lionel Messi. Messi! Well, Real Madrid are thankful that they have one of the best goalkeepers in the world between the sticks tonight. Otherwise, this could quite frankly be embarrassing. He's been their most important player for me tonight, Rob. He's made three one-on-one -on -one saves. This game should be over. Barcelona should be out of sight. But Iker Casillas has kept Real Madrid in the game. Ronaldinho gathers speed past Ramos. Alguera comes to meet him. He goes past Alguera. Ronaldinho at his very best. Unstoppable. Fantastic play here from Ronaldinho, Rob. He skips inside Alguera. Roberto Carlos comes across to try and give him some cover, but he's so quick, so. Slick, and he knocks it in at the near post past Iker Casillas. Can anybody stop him? What a goal! Well, we said before we'd come to see the best in the business at the peak of their powers. Ronaldinho, World Player of the Year, with the second. Samuel Eto'o, African Player of the Year for the last two seasons. Garcia. Again. Really are getting caught out. Poor defender from Real Madrid. The sooner Jonathan Woodgate gets fit, the better. Messi. Deco. Too bad, even though he's been out for a month. And too many players away on international duty coming back. They don't look anywhere near as good a side as Barcelona. Well, they look like wall beats as Barcelona. As there's a Fanciful little shot from distance from Lionel Messi. Now Julio Baptista told the media a couple of days ago he didn't feel he was uh, ready for this game after missing five matches with... Uh, oh, is he down? Gives it away. There's Messi. Incredible control from Lionel Messi. And uh, the other teenager, Ramos, had to stop him. Guti doesn't get there. Etu does. Gives it to Lionel Messi! And a last-ditch super challenge for Michel Salgado. Had to be. And they're just tearing them apart. And the mistakes that are being made, is, it's, it's unbelievable. Again, Helguera's defensive capabilities are very poor. Well, I think they've got Real Madrid on a good night for, for them. Madrid has not played well. In Time for change for Barcelona. Anders Iniesta, a regular substitute, will come on. And he deserves a standing ovation, Lionel Messi. He's not going to get it in the Bernabeu of all places, but it has been a masterly performance by the 18-year-old who really has stamped his image upon this game. He's been sensational, Rob, in this derby match. Absolutely sensational.
Right decision, Jerry, to give him a break. He's run himself yeah, into the ground. He played for the national side midweek, and I think it's a welcome break now. What can Julio Baptista do?